second ever sortie was for the most part a success. My first aerial victory turned out to be a Fokker D7 from Yasta 18. It's a miracle I was able to even take that machine on. Of course, everything did not go to plan. In my excitement, I completely botched the landing and landed with the wind. What a boneheaded mistake. The mechanics were furious. Needless to say, I was pretty afraid to eat my meal that evening. The next morning, I woke up and bright and early to practice my landings and takeoffs. Take off land, take off land. I repeated this cycle over and over. Hopefully, botch landings will be a thing of the past now. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome back to some more Rise of Flight and we're going to go ahead and start rolling. As you can see, look at that wind sock, oh my god, the wind is just atrocious. It said 4 meters per second uh, on the briefing screen for today, so it's a very windy day. But thankfully, this mission is a fairly easy one. We are relocating airfields, which is relatively exciting, I suppose, so I'll go ahead and record it. Um, the last, I did fly a sortie in between uh, our, the last mission I uploaded and this one, but nothing really happened. Uh, we escorted a couple of two-seaters over to the German lines. They dropped their bombs and we went home. Uh, there was some Archie fire, but other than that, yeah, nada. No, no action at all, so. I figured I wouldn't uh, upload that. However, this one, this is a relocation mission. We only, we don't do very many of these and there is the possibility of some action. So I'll probably will go ahead and upload this. And we are a flight of, it looks like five today. And we are relocating further west. And I lost my freaking leader in this, there we go. The visibility in this Newport 28 is just atrocious due to this this big windscreen here. I, I guess it's a gift and a, a curse at the same time. A gift so, you know, stuff doesn't hit you in the face like hot oil and whatnot. And then a curse whenever, you know, there's Fokker D7s about and you're trying to keep your eyes on them. Uh, I did practice my landings quite a bit. In the meantime, after our last embarrassing <laughs> landing, and I think I really got it down. Uh, this aircraft is pretty difficult to land, but I think I was just being a little impatient as well. You know, besides the boneheaded move of landing with the wind, uh, I, I think I was just rushing it a bit. I, I need to go nice and slow. Also, this aircraft does have a tendency to spin out on landings, and whenever that would happen, I would push the stick and a last ditch move to kind of recover from the spin either left or right and that would cause my aileron to smash into the ground as you can see like that so i need to avoid doing that because if the aircraft just spins on its own without me touching the stick the plane will be fine so there is that as well which is good to know i got five successful landings in a row and after that i figured i was fit to record so hopefully i'm not talking it up and I absolutely just murder this upcoming landing. Well, I guess we'll find out, of course, but hopefully it's a good landing. I have not landed in four meter per second winds, so that might be a issue. It is very windy today, <laughs> so I am kind of worried about that. Hopefully it all goes swimmingly, though. Uh, I guess another thing we should talk about, and wow, the sun is just coming up over the, the hills there, beautiful. This game is really good looking, you know, even even today, 10 years later, I guess. It was released in 2009, right? Something like that. It's a fairly old game and it still really holds up. Anyway, the only other thing I guess I should really talk about is my gunnery. Uh, the gunnery was uh, pretty poor in the last episode, and a lot of that was a mixture of just A, excitement, and B, I was facing a Fokker D7 in this Newport 28 and I was just trying to throw as much lead down range as possible in the hopes of getting a you know lucky hit that's obviously not a good way to fly because then you're out of ammo and uh, well that's <laughs> that's a problem to have whenever there's another Fokker D7 on you so I think I'm going to try to definitely conserve ammo a little better in the upcoming episodes Anyway, I will continue on this long flight. I guess I can show the flight path here. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up the map. And let's see. So we are flying 
Yeah, it is a, it's a doozy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are relocating quite a way. And I guess there is an opportunity for some excitement. We will see though. But I definitely did take a fuel t full tank of fuel for this uh, long journey. So I suppose I will go ahead and cut here as we fly along the front French countryside. And I'll get back to you guys uh, maybe when we're landing at our new airfield. We have bogeys. Hi. Closing in, and uh, yeah, it looks like we're engaging. Let's make sure our guns are ready. Ready to go. Oh boy, that was actually. Whoa, don't collide with me, please. Looks like uh, Faults is from way down here. Unfortunately, they do have quite an altitude advantage on us, which is concerning. Also, I want to be wary. I don't want to accidentally slam into any of my, <laughs> my flight here. Also, in the meantime, I guess I should explain why, where our flight leader went. Uh, he is, he is deceased, unfortunately. Uh, we ran into a flight of spads in the clouds, and he managed to get himself killed by slamming into one of them. So, it is me as the flight lead now. I've been promoted, it looks like, through natural selection. And I hope we can climb and get these fellas way up here. Let's go ahead and lean back on the mix a little bit. There we go. Gotta listen to that engine come to life. Come down here, you hun bastards. Get some. I don't know if they really want to tangle with us. They're playing it rather cautious, and I'm just <laughs> I'm worried about getting rammed now. Unfortunately, I was not recording that exciting moment. But I think we will. I think we're going to have a fight here when we catch up to them. It looks like we are catching up, as far as I can tell. I'm really putting on the coals here. Let's see, make sure no one else is... Yeah, it looks like we're okay. I don't know if they really want to fight us. Looks like they're kind of playing it safe here. Can't say I blame them. It's an even fight, so that is cause for concern. But we are slowly but surely climbing up to meet them. And plus they're turning, that's really uh, slowing them down. And I think we're gonna be, I'm gonna go for this number three right here. Also, I need to kind of try to gain more speed here. Everyone's still following me? All my geese are, or ducks are in a row, I suppose. And oh, there we go, someone's, <laughs> already throwing shots down range I'm really trying to I'm going max throttle I'm going as fast as I possibly can fellas I'm sorry I don't know why they haven't broke maybe they're leading us to a trap that is very well possible I hope not that would be scary I don't like traps but I'm gonna pump this number three here full of lead and it looks like Ooh, yep he turned around I'm gonna stick on this one However, yep, that one is now engaging. I think, hopefully we aren't being led into a trap. Okay, now he, re oh, I think I actually, I might have actually gotten hits there. And now he's on my six because of my... It looks like he, however, is having engine troubles. I wonder if... Oh, and so am I. That's not good. I'm leaking something, possibly fuel. Thankfully, we are fighting on our side of the lines. That does help me out just in case... Uh, I have to emergency land. Break off from that, that was close. Almost got murdered there <laughs> via ramming. Let's see, is this a fault? Sure is. Reload guns, stick on them like glue. 
All right, I'm gonna have to break here. He can definitely turn way better than I can. I am worried about this leak. And I just received more damage. Which is definitely cause for concern. And he is going, he's diving. I don't wanna dive with him, especially with the damaged Newport. Okay, there's one down there. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do. All right, we don't wanna pursue this. I'm very wary of dives in this aircraft for uh, somewhat obvious reasons. This plane does not do well in dives. It has a tendency for shredding wings. Uh, friendly. What do we got over here? It's like mostly friendlies in the sky. Here we go. It's like we'll go for the one with the striped tail. Got hits. It's leaking. I don't know if he's going down just yet. We'll follow him though. It is very possible he is going down, but... Nope, definitely is not. But he is leaking, it probably looks like either fuel or from his radiator. Alright, we're on a six. Let's finish him off. That was a pretty good snapshot. We caused some engine damage. Used a blip switch. Try not to overshoot. I'm very wary of overshooting here. And it looks like his propeller is starting to uh, have some issues. Uh, he's done. He'll go down. He'll be captured since he is over our part of the lines. Now, I guess we can go ahead and watch him go down. Yep, and it looks like the propeller has stopped, so that one is done for. Okay, I guess we should continue on our flight path. I think all of the falses have been dealt with as far as I can tell. I am, I am leaking, however, which is definitely a a concern here but we'll just have to live with that and continue on our way hopefully my engine doesn't seize up and we go down but i'm going to go ahead and continue on our course and try to get on home all right and my engine has stopped we didn't make it very far let's see let's take our map yeah we did not get very far at all i think what i was leaking let's go ahead and get rid of that was fuel i just looked at my fuel gauge and it is completely empty so yeah they hit me in the fuel tank so we're gonna have to glide on down and uh, go ahead and land in one of these fields it looks like there are actually airfields down here which could work uh but i'm gonna take whatever i can get as long as i don't die so we're just gonna take it nice and easy here i do not want to die here but I just checked, and apparently, well, I guess we'll go over it in the uh, the little end of mission screen. I don't suspect I will get my pilot killed here. Oh, well, there you go. I got two kills, apparently. Apparently, uh, one of the ones I shot actually went down, so, or two of them. I knew that last one I, I saw pretty much go down. That was confirmed. But then uh, I guess I got another one, which is very exciting. I'm actually pretty happy with those results. Two kills in a flight. It's just a shame our, uh, we ran out of fuel. But I should be able to take a little truck to our airfield. It'll, it'll be a while, but hey, that's okay. That was actually rather exciting. I was thinking I might end up uh, not uploading this episode if nothing happened again, but 
I'm glad some action happened because that was pretty intense. I might end up going for near this aerodrome. Let's see where. Uh, Lamatel, whatever. That seems like a good place to kind of land, at least in that area. But yeah, our plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's awfully quiet out here and just hear the wind whistling past the wires. Oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to land over here. Unfortunately, A, I think this airfield is abandoned. I think. Which might be an issue. It doesn't have a windsock as far as I can tell. Not that it really matters. I don't have much uh, say in which direction I land. Mostly because I am trading altitude for speed here. And eventually I am going to run out of altitude. As we close in here. Yeah, I don't see a windsock. Alright, so we're just going to have to guess here. I would like to loop around and land. That would be my preferred method. Let's go ahead and shoot a flare so they know I'm coming in. <laughs> I just love shooting flares. Yeah, well, I think this aerodrome might be abandoned, which is a-okay. -A -okay. That's fine. There is quite a few towns where I can get some help. I'm sure there are Army or Air Force personnel around. So, I will, I'll be able to make it back to our new airfield just fine, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and come on in here. I'm going to probably end up landing in this big green field just up ahead. I don't think I'm going to be able to complete the turn, but as long as there's no trees, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, we're coming down pretty hard, and unfortunately, the way this lined up, it looks like we're <laughs> landing into a hill. So, this might not be pretty. We'll see. Yeah, not pretty. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, but I'm still alive, I hope. I hope to God I'm still alive. I might be going into a hospital after this, but yeah, I there's no way I could have really. There's a four meter per second crosswind. I have no power. Uh, I'm gonna give that landing a pass. Trust me, I was landing just fine earlier. So uh, without power, I, I'm okay with a crash landing. Finish flight, yes, I'm sure. Hopefully we're not dead. That would put a damper on things, huh? All right, let's see. Evan Ross. So yeah, I'm just, okay, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> we're just wounded. Yeah, we're injured. Pilot's injured. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, but hey, two aerial victories. That's not half bad. I'll go ahead and proceed. I'm sure we'll be in the hospital for a little amount of time. Come to think about it, I shouldn't have tried to swing around. I should have just come down in a straight line, but that's okay. I'm taken to the hospital for treatment for your wounds. Okay. And, uh... I destroyed two aircraft from Yasta 64, and they were false D3s. Cool, so Oscar Emerson was killed in action. He's the one that collided with the SPAD, and then I was wounded. But hey, I was the only one to shoot down uh, some Huns this patrol. So let's go ahead and finish and make sure... Oh, we failed, apparently. Well... <laughs> Yikes. Next mission. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make sure everyone gets back to our new airfield. And I want to see how long we actually stay in the hospital. Kind of determines how bad our injuries were. Everyone got back. Man, this was an absolute failure then, huh? That was not good. Our sortie. <laughs> Could have been better, but hey. I'm, I'm optimistic about it. The future, I guess. All right, and everyone else made it back to our new aerodrome. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next day, and I'll go ahead and jump ahead, depending how long we were wounded for. I want to see how bad our injuries were. I don't... They, they might have been kind of rough. We'll see. Okay. Fresh meal. Okay, so I was in the hospital for one, two, three, four, and five days. And we are going up on an offensive patrol. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our new area of operations. Let's see, what is our airfield? I guess this is it, huh? Oh boy, there is quite a few enemy airfields in this area. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a little more exciting than uh, when we were way down here with nothing to do, really. 
there's quite a few enemy airfields in this sector, so it should be a little more exciting. Anyway, I guess that'll bring this here episode to an end. It's unfortunate that we ended up crash landing. Uh, I was hoping to show off my pristine landing skills, but uh, I guess that'll have to wait. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next Rise of Flight episode.